they could have. So guys, here is tonight's equipment for the sleep out. Uh, wow, well, my sleeping equipment anyway. Go on, away with you, away with you. Good dog, go on, what's that? Go down and get that, go get the stick. So guys, first of all, because I am down at Red Branch, I, I do have access to a lot of equipment here. So uh, I do like the versatility of these, these really cheap, clip together sort of foam gym pads. Get out you, get out. Okay, so what this does is it, it, uh, it gives you a floored area, a floored type area, I'm gonna say. So if you do have unexpected visitors, and I mean visitors, like welcome visitors, like if the dog, you do end up having the dogs or the kids end up staying or something like that, there's space for them, okay? So, because they lock together, No, you come out of it. Of course, of course he's been in the river, so he's wet. So guys, because because they interlock together, they're not gonna slide apart like uh, like roll mats can, okay? So what I have here as well, guys, is I have my uh, my very lovely Tamaras Neo Air Force. Ah, 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 ah. Stay. Get off it, you! Get off it! And he, he would rack this with his claws, okay? So what I generally do is that I keep all this, all this uh, sort of. Now you, I know you've got a lovely piece of wood, lovely piece. I keep all this, uh, I say delicate for want of a better word. I keep all that stuff sort of rolled up and out of the way so that if, if Doofus here does go in, you know, he, he's, he's not gonna wreck anything too much. Guys, of course I have my, it's actually inside out at the minute. I have my Corinthia Defense 4. Therm arrest memory foam pillow. <laughs> and that is me ready. Now I am gonna go get some food organized because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. You stay off. Good dog. Good dog. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. You don't need to be I know, I know, I know. Guys. I'm going to be here. Uh, I'm going to be fireboxing tonight, I think, and um, I'm, uh, there, there'll be no steak or anything like that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try some uh, some British British Army ration packs, I think, and we'll, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to do a random pick of my ration pack supply and see what sort of stuff I can come up with. So I'm. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and take a wee lesson out of Steve, Firebox Steve's book here. Uh, I got some, got some charcoal from the fire, from the campfire. I'm going to put it in the firebox. Oh, if I can. Oakley doakley. Tonight. We have non-food items, 24 hour ration pack. I have Moore's pot, 
randomly grabbed some things, guys. In that pot, I have chicken, sausage, and beans in a tomato sauce. Sounds delicious. Beef with pasta with beef and tomato sauce. Halal pasta bolognese. Pasta with minced beef in a tomato based sauce. That's a lot of pasta. This diced mixed fruit and pineapple juice and a maple syrup bun for dessert, guys. And that is the highlight of my culinary experience for this evening. What you can see, guys, is that straight away this is going to work. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to. Uh, that's cool. That'll fit there. Okay, I'm going to get some small sticks. I'm gonna get this firebox stove flying. Now with smoke coming off this like this, all I really need to do is just get some oxygen into it and it will go on fire. But guys, what I wanna do is is instead of just blowing on it, I want to fill it full of uh, fuel first. So when it does go in flame, there actually is something for it to burn into. Now, this is just a little accessories pack you get. A Ziploc bag. I'm going to assume that's for waste. There we go. You get matches, a cleaning pad, wet wipes by two, water purification tablets, a little cooker, toilet roll, knife and fork. Taxi tabs. That is not bad, guys. That is not bad. I'm going to put all this back into this. Pass the bolognese of these. Diced mixed fruit in pineapple juice. That is rank. <laughs> Pineapple papaya. That's it. Used in Thailand. It's okay, actually. Halal pasta bolognese. 
let us see if it is even hot enough it feels roasting this is why I like these alt kit spoons guys up with some pasta with beef and tomato sauce. I have a funny feeling that this might just be the same thing. Pop it in there. You know, it's, it's been a long time since I had one of these MRE type videos, do you know that? I think... Watching the English Woodsman sort of <laughs> made me wanted to uh, eat steak every time I went camping, but there's a lot to be said for the handiness of these things. And this is not bad. With the ease of use of the firebox stove, you know, you're only boiling water. Like. So, two pouches of pasta, both the same. What I'm reckoning is that now that I've actually eaten two full MRE meals, ration packs, whatever you want to call them. I'm probably not going to poop for five days. Bun maple syrup. I don't know. Let us see. It is, go is it going to be delicious? Oh my God. It's a good job I saw that. <laughs> Do not eat, it has silica gel in it. It tastes like gone off brioche. It's not terrible. If you jam or something to put on it, it would probably be okay, actually. I decided to keep the chicken, sausage, and beans for uh, the morning. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a bit bacon soda y the more you get into it. Guys, and that is me all set up for the night. So I will see you guys in the morning for coffee.
Ripper. Doot, doot. Oh yeah, coffee time. Guys, I am going to have my breakfast and I'm going to drink some coffee. I'm going to take down my camp. I'm not actually, I'm going to leave this up because I'm going to sleep out here tonight again. Uh, and, and that's it. I don't really have any more to say. Uh, what, bacon and sausages and beans, I think, this morning? Chicken sausage and beans. Chicken sausage and beans. What a very picturesque morning it is for making a video. Look with the sun coming up behind me in the east. So, guys, thanks for watching. Stay classy, San Diego. If you get it, you get it.